Hi everyone, this is Casey from iSugar. Today I want to share you some interesting and advanced technique for editing VR 180 video. And this sample was made by CCAMK2 Pro and edit and stitch in Mystica VR. As you may already know, we have seen something unusual at the center of the image. On the right side, you will see a little piece of lens extruding from the left side, and on the left eyes, you will see a little lens extruding from the right, which is reducing the field of view of the output uh, footage and reducing the horizontal field of view to less than 180 degrees. What about if I can tell you we can make something like this? The water is keep continuing and the people that keep watching uninterruptedly in the footage. How can we do this? This is just because the structure of the camera. For the 3D 180 or the VR 180, we are shooting stereo at the center area. Every uh, pixels from the center, they were captured by two cameras with the right disparity, shooting a little bit from the left and a little bit from the right. So we are seeing stereo in the most uh, major area on the output. However, something on the extreme edges, like the, uh, the extreme left pixels on the right eyes, they were blocked by the another lens from the, uh, on the side. And even if the lens, they were not blocking their view, the image, they are not setting side by side. They are well overlapped with different distance. So eventually, on the edges area, they are showing in 2D. So, we are taking these disadvantages to be an advantage to us. We can just simply take the pixels from the other side and fill it up the area in this missing area. So, I'm about to show you how. Now, we're just loading the uh, stitched video from Mystical VR to the Premiere Pro. And first, we are going to make a copy of the video and sh shift it to one side. Say, like, uh, I move everything halfway to the left, so the right image is showing up on the left view now. If I'm hiding this layer, you will see uh, there's some disparity at the center, not on the side. Now the magic is here. We are taking a mask to the area. And we are extending to the same timeline. And on the new uh, layer, we are taking a track magic key uh, plug in and set the new mask layer as the content. This is not showing right because uh, the mask is not in the right position. So let's type it now. And you will see the missing area on the left eyes, they will disappear. And I can toggle this button and show you the distance, show you the difference. Okay, we are just cloning the right pixels for that missing part on the left eyes. So the left view is done and we are cloning the original footage to make another copy for the right eyes. Now we are shifting it to the... Oh, sorry, I should type it on the new layer. Now we are shifting the new layer to reveal the area on the missing area. And we are cloning an other layer of the mask file. And we are putting the mask on the right position. And then apply the track medi key and assign the new layer as a mask. Okay, it's almost done. We can uh, we confirm by hiding this layer and you see ah the original missing pieces they are okay now so once you're happy with it you will just export for your uh, 
video. So this is how we make this happen. I wish you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any question about the technique, feel free to send me an email or send us some uh, message through the Facebook or some other media. And we will answer you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. And hopefully we will see you soon and keep in touch in the next episode. Thank you and bye-bye.